Hello LNC community, Principal Smith here, and I appreciate you taking the time to view this digital production. Hopefully the information in this video will um, provide more information about what our hybrid learning experience is gonna be as we progress to welcoming our students back. We look forward to having our students back in the building. It's hard to believe that we have not had an in-person school setting since March 13th. So that being said, we are very much looking forward to welcoming our students back, especially those students new to LNC and new to the high school being the class of 2024. Students will be divided into two cohorts. Each cohort will have two days of in-person instruction per week and two days of asynchronous learning per week. Asynchronous learning means that it is through online channels and resources without real-time interaction or feedback from their teacher. Wednesdays are seminar days. Students will use this day to catch up on assignments and complete extra practice work if needed. Teachers will offer student tutoring, connect with students who need additional support and intervention, respond to students and parent messages and questions, and plan for in-person and asynchronous learning. All staff and students will wear masks while at school with opportunities to remove them for different activities, such as while eating lunch and at recess, as long as social distancing is possible. In-person days will begin at 7.45 a.m. and end at 1.45 p.m. Carpool begins at 7.15 a.m. and ends at 7.40 a.m. Students will exit the vehicle in small groups as directed by staff. All students will enter through one primary entrance with visual markers spaced every six feet to provide visual reminders to socially distance. Before entering the building, all students will complete health screenings. Screenings include temperature checks using either a touch thermometer or a thermal scanner and health screening questions. After completing their health screening, students will report directly to class. The hallways and stairways are one way to help reduce the amount of people in an area at any given time and to reduce face-to-face -face contact. Lockers will not be utilized. Students will bring backpacks to their classroom. In classrooms, all soft and fabric surfaces, including rugs, have been removed to make frequent cleaning easier and more effective. In classrooms where students use tables and social distancing isn't possible, plexiglass dividers will be used. In classrooms with individual desks, half of the desks have been removed and the remaining half have been spread out to create distance between students. Classrooms contain designated teacher-only zones to allow for social distancing between the teacher and students as much as possible. Only one student from a class will be permitted outside of that class for any reason at any time. The center sinks in all bathrooms have been disabled and taped off to ensure social distancing while restrooms are in use. All other faucets have been programmed to stay on for 20 seconds to ensure effective hand washing. Water fountains have been disabled, but the water bottle dispensers are still active. Students should bring their own water bottles from home and can refill throughout the day. Students will eat lunch in their classrooms. Attendance will be taken on in-person days, asynchronous days, and seminar days. Volunteering will be limited to only essential needs and volunteers will follow all health and safety protocols. In the afternoon, carpool will begin at 1.45 p.m. and end at 2.15 p.m. For afternoon carpool, students will be spaced out to maintain social distancing. In addition to upgrading air filters throughout the schools, LNC has added cleaning staff to its sanitation crew. In addition to cleaning each classroom throughout the day and after all lunches, this crew will sanitize classroom surfaces, sanitize the air in the classroom, and the individual classroom's HVAC systems each evening and during the day as occupancy allows. 
that will use BioS, which is a natural botanical disinfectant solution. Again, we appreciate you taking the time to view this digital production and reading all the information. We acknowledge there's been a ton of information. And also, this is a time like we've never experienced before. So any question that you have is expected. So I would encourage you to continue to check the FAQ document. I promise you, if you as a student or a parent have a question, someone else has had that same question. If you do not have that question answered, there are avenues for you to submit those questions. The simple expectation will remain for us to simply be our best. Thank you for viewing.